スマイルスマイル No God No God please no 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 Hello everybody, Xanafar here, and today I am doing a review of Ultraman Deathle Episode 7. If you like this video, don't get to drop a like for this video, and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. So let's get into it. Let's talk about the characters. Let's first talk about Asumi and a new character pop up in this episode, Kango from Ultraman Trigger. Ultraman Trigger himself. They have a bromance in this episode, and it's pretty fun to watch, I have to admit. I don't mind a bromance, it's nice seeing them talk to each other about being Ultramans and stuff, and learning things from each other. It is fun to see that. Now it's all about Brumon, because he had an amazing scene I really love. Crescenting Kango, why is he healed? That is funny, and I was not expecting that, because I thought they were just going to ignore it, but no. They address a bit. And that's something I find really funny, and it's funny to see Kengo and Asumi need to lie to the Guts Select crew. That is just really funny, and I, I really enjoyed that scene a lot. And honestly, it made Rumon very likable to me. Now, we did see some more cameos in this episode. Light, the old captain from Ultraman Trigger, and that was nice to see him. He's not a captain anymore, and yeah, he's on Mars. Same thing with Akito. Very nice to see Akito. Honestly, those two were pretty much my favorites in the Gust Select in Ultraman Trigger, so it was nice to see them. And we also see Gazeel, but a new Gazeel. Interesting, and maybe she's not to do that to somehow, so, huh. The rest of the characters don't really do anything else. Ichika and the radio captain mostly just be very surprised seeing Kengo and talking to a old Gusla Mepo, and that's really it with them. But the characters in this episode, I kind of wish most of them did more, but I understand they really wanted to focus on Kengo and the Sumi's bromance. Now it's talked about the effects. The effects are great looking as always, the practical sets look amazing. It was really cool to see Ultraman Triggers and Deathless Transformation together. They just did it in a really nice way and it just looked really cool. Let's see the Wise Up also just looked really cool as well. I really liked that with the effects. Let's talk about Trigger's new sword. I love how it looks and I love the gimmick. I think it looks really cool and I'm assuming it's going to be Deathless Sword probably in the next episode. Now, I will talk about one more effect, but this is also my criticism, so let's get into my criticisms. Metazor and Gambilla. Now, bringing back Metazor and basically Carmilla ruins the ending of Ultraman Trigger, in my opinion. I don't understand why you need to bring her back. They could have brought back the Vidins in Tiga and Dinah the movie. Because that would have been a cool reference to Tiga and Dinah, because Dettel and Trigger are new generations of Tiga and Dinah. Or just made a new kaiju. Now my opinion might change, maybe they might do really well in episode 8. But right now, I don't really like the choice. Now the biggest criticism I have for this episode is Smire Smile. Come on, just make Kengo say it once. He has to say it, I'd rather him not say it at all, but he says it so many times in this episode. Now there's a lot of cringe in this episode. Like the dance. Now I understand the weapons, that's the weapons of Trigger when Reboot appealed. Cool, but still very cringy. And Asumi saying this guy is hard like my rice crafters. What? Why would he bring that up? I understand he taught about rice crafters in the first episode, but he never taught about rice crafters at all again. Why is he bringing it up now? I don't understand. It's just a weird line. It did make me laugh though. What did I like about this episode? Well, I like this scene, Rumon, questioning why Kingo is healed. I just like that scene a lot. I also like this scene Trigger and Deathle team up because they're cool weapons to Tiga and Dinah teaming up and yeah it just got me those feels and I liked that a lot. I also, what I said, liked the cameos. I liked this event they brought back. The two Guts of Letnupers I liked the most, the Captain and Akito. It was nice to see them both back in this episode on Mars, so that's pretty cool. It was nice to see Mars as well, that's another thing I like this scene. What is my final thoughts for episode 7 of Ultraman Deathlord? Well, sounds like I hate this episode. And that is not the case. I thought this episode was just 
okay? Now, I do have many criticisms for this episode, and I do think this episode is quite cringy. But to be honest, this episode did make me laugh mostly because of the cringe, and I was in a tank. This episode felt like a Trigo episode, and that could be a good thing or a bad thing on how you see Trigo and how you like Trigo. But that is pretty much it with this video. Tell me down below what did you think of this episode? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Or did you thought it was okay? Thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Xanafar is out.